another day in the MTG arena. I'm playing Rusko again because people seem to be digging the Rusko gameplay videos. Um, you're all as degenerate as I am, and I love it. I love it very much. So, you know what Rusko is? If you don't know, just check my other videos. I explain Rusko more thoroughly. Basically, Rusko is a broken, ridiculous uh, commander in Historic Brawl that basically nets you a Mox Sapphire every time it's casted. A Mox Sapphire with upside because it, <laughs> in six turns, six of your turns, you basically wield your hand and wield your graveyard back into your deck and draw a fresh batch of cards. Um, Rusko, on its own, every time you cast a non-creature spell, you gain one life, the opponent loses one life, you, you are draining them for life when you're casting your countery, non creaturey spells. Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous value. You just make a bunch of mana rocks and you produce a lot of value. You just cast a Bolo Citadel, a Paradox Engine. This deck has a thousand different win cons. It's just the mere good stuff. It's just the mere good stuff with a commander that's just up upside. There's just no downside. If he dies, you just recast it again because you'll be able to recast it again because it's basically like a Golos, which in which uh, the, the commander tax is cut down by one because he plays, he creates a Mox Sapphire when, it's cat, when, it, when it gets into the battlefield. Uh, it's ridiculous. So I just hope you guys enjoy the gameplay footage as you have been enjoying it. So, yeah. Okay, I'm up against Ishin Two Heavens is One. Uh, interesting commander. Gonna be very battle centric. We'll see how that goes. Um, got three lands. Got an all. Got Ronas. Seagate, which is my basically my fourth land. I'm gonna keep. I go first too, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna play my island. Pass. Opponent. Awesome. I don't even need to play my Seagate Restoration anymore. Um, let's play my Underground River. Pass. Okay, Rubber Other Witch. That's gonna be very annoying very quickly. Um, so it does when it attacks. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna bounce, I think. Uh, I'm not gonna bounce. It's fine. Let me take it my turn. Okay, cool. I'm gonna play a land, pass a turn. Cool thing about this is if he plays his commander, which I think he's going to, I'm going to bounce it. Awesome. He's not going to play his commander. Great. That's great. He's scrying to the top. Must be good. Robert the Rich keeps attacking me. Okay. He plays uh, in Ganjo Exemplar. Uh, it's an enchantment creature, so I'm just going to null it. So why not? It's a freebie. It's obviously not playing Mana Rocks, I guess. Okay, great. Um, let me play my Inventor's Fair. I'm gonna play my Rusko Clockmaker. Gonna produce a Midnight Clock. I have Ronald's Vortex just in case I need to bounce something. I'm excluding my commander, but it's fine. If he goes a little nutty, like casting his commander. Let's see what he does. Awesome. Just gonna bounce his commander here. Make him waste another turn casting it. Get a trigger. With Rusko. Awesome. Play a land. I'm tempted to play uh, Teferi, but I want to have I want to have mana for Infernal Grass. So I'm just going to pass a turn. Charging on my counters for Midnight Clock. It's pretty solid. Okay. He's going to play Ishin again. Okay. He's going to play Triumphant Adventure. Um, when he attacks, venture into the dungeon. Awesome. I'm going to respond by Infernal Grasping his commander. Cool. I'm going to let that resolve. He's probably not going to attack. And I'm going to put a Midnight Counter on my clock. Going up to 7. I have a solve the equation. I'm going to play a land. Um, I'm tempted to just play Seagate Restoration. And just tap out for a turn, which I think might be kind of cool. Um, I kind of want to do Temporal, uh, Teferi Temporal Program 2. If I do solve the equation, what can I get for 4 mana that could be useful? Um, uh, I am very tempted to just play Seagate and pass a turn. I'm going to be drawing a fresh uh, hand. I could just Teferi instead. I'm going to Teferi. Because with Teferi, I can just try to draw into something useful. 
Oh, I drew a key to archive. That's pretty good. I'm gonna pass a turn. See what the opponent does. He's probably gonna tr cast his commander again and just attack with his two little boys. Oh, he's doing Bastry instead. Nice. I like this. This is cool. Okay. Awesome. He's attacking Teferi. Which I do not mind because I wanted to bait him out of an attack to my face with the Teferi. So I'm going to let that die. That was the plan. Perfect. Okay, now there's a Shadow Wars Verdict, which I think I will play. Let me see. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this because it's basically the correct play. Okay. Board wiped. I'm going to play this as a land. And he's going to scoop it up. Yeah, too difficult. Ooh, going against Delina Wild Mage. What is this card? I'm going to go first, which is good. Um, Delina. Okay, what does this do? Oh, it's from D&D &D set. Okay. Delina. Wild Mage attack. Choose target creature control. Then roll D20. 1 to 14. Create a tap and attacking token. That's a copy. And at the end of combat, you exile it. And then create two of one of those tokens. You may roll again. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm going to keep this hand. It's pretty solid. Gonna play a watery grave tapped. I'm gonna pass a turn. I got Tails End, so if the commander goes down, oh, I can just remove it. Okay, pass a turn. Play another land. Okay. Opponent plays a goblin. Cool. Oh, that's my third land. I'm gonna play Seagate as a land. Uh, tapped. It's fine. Pass a turn. That's fine. Scaring Surveyor. He's going to get a land. Put it into your hand. Ramping a little bit. Okay, cool. Okay. He's going to probably swing for one. Exactly. Going to play a Snow Covered Swamp. Going to play Rusko. Going to play a Mox Amber. Going to get a trigger. Going to pass a turn. I'm gonna get a counter. Let's see what the opponent does. Okay, he's gonna play a mountain. He's not playing his commander, he's playing Solemn. Um, I think I'm fine with that Solemn. He's just ramping, ramping, ramping away. Okay, the smart play would be doing goblin, giving the solicitor mark him haste, and he does not do that. Okay. That's what I would have done. I'm going to play an island. going to pass the turn to the opponent. Not going to attack. He's obviously going to chump. So. And again, another counter on the clock. This, is, <laughs> this model red deck ramps better than I do. It was great. Okay. He's going to do Den of the Buckbear. Okay. Just want to get attacks, right? Okay. Okay, he's going to pass to the next phase. I'm going to... I think I'm going to bounce it to his top. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bounce that. To the... To the bottom of his library. He's going to lose that. Boom. So there you go. I basically stone rain them. Okay, let's see if he attacks. He does not. I would have attacked with Solemn. I don't know why he's not attacking with Solemn. Still lack him. I know he's leaving it as a blocker, but, you know, it's silly at this point. Okay, cool. I'm going to play a shield right. Yeah. I think the opponent is going to scoop very soon. I'm going to pass a turn. I'm not even going to bother attacking. Okay. Eight counters on my midnight clock. He loses two life. Thanks to my shield rip. Okay, ooh, Bernie Sun's Avatar. He's gonna ping for three. Um, sure. I think I, I think I do not mind that at all. If I'm being honest. Um, hmm. I could tails end it because it's, at this point he's not even gonna cast his commander. If he does, I can just 
Rivers rebuke it, so I'm just going to counter that trigger. Yeah, I'm going to counter that trigger. Yep. I'm going to leave my little Rusko there. It's probably going to give it haste. I'm very tempted to, uh, oh, he's silly. He could have drawn a card. I'm going to take six. It's fine. Okay. Ten clocks. Ten, ten clock counters. Let's see. Uh, I kind of want to do Rivers Rebuke. And I think it's going to clench the game if I do it. So I'm just going to Rivers Rebuke my opponent. I'll set everything up there. I'm going to play a land. I'm going to attack. Pass a turn, and I think the opponent is going to probably scoop. So, fresh hand, fresh triggers. I get seven Shrieldred triggers. I got 38 life. He has 10 life. And this is the point where the opponent will probably scoop the game. Oh, he's very committed. Okay, cool. I like this. I like my opponent actually committing to his place. Let's see what he does. He's gonna get a land to his hand. Place a land. He's gonna play another Sullen Simulacrum. That's cool. Awesome. I'm gonna brainstorm. I'm gonna put two lands on on top. It doesn't matter because I'm going to Fable Passage. I'm going to Fable Passage. I don't want those lands. I'm going to get an island. Draw. Children. I'm going to play a land. I'm going to play a Gilded Lotus. I'm going to play a Guardian Angel. Guardian Idol, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to play an Oracle. Of the alpha. I'm not gonna attack. Pass it turn to the opponent. The opponent goes to five. It's. My opponent is a good sport. He decided to play it out. And I respect that a lot. Okay, Perforos. Cool. Give us all creatures haste. But it might be a little too late. Okay, he plays Zelina. He attacks with everything. It's fine. Let's see what he does. Okay, he plays. Uh, he makes a copy of Delina. Not gonna block with anything. It's fine. And he scoops it up. Ooh, cool. I'm against Nicol Bolas, God Pharaoh. Let's go against Grixis and see what we can do. I'm gonna mull. Um, yeah, I'll keep. I'll play the tap land. Jawari tapped. Pass the turn. Play a swamp. Pass the turn. Got to bind to secrecy just in case he plays a mana rock. Does not play a mana rock. Play a lion land. Pass go. It's a beautiful swamp. Love these Dominaria lands. I actually want to buy a few for myself. Okay, he's obviously going to play something. Ooh, Kaito, I don't want you to get value, sir. Counter. Let's see if I draw the land that I need. I didn't, but I drew a caravan, so I got my, my mana. Okay, this turn four, I'm going to get shot off, but we'll see. Oh, he plays the Kizia City, that's fine. Perfect. Man, Kick to the Archive is really freaking annoying. It'd be cool if there was a paper equivalent to this, but obviously the problem is the the spellbook thing makes it kind of difficult. Okay, I'm gonna play Rusko. I'm gonna play a Mox Amber. Pass turn to the opponent. I have a counter spell just in case anything bad goes my way, I can stop it. And I can do a key to the archive next turn, so I'll be fine too. He plays an expressive alliteration. I'll allow that. That's not an issue for me. Probably gonna get a land drop. There's his land drop. Plays his land. 
Place a Lothal Spider Queen. I think that is not an issue, so I'm just going to allow that too. It's fine. Okay, I'm going to play it a key to the archive. Mm. I'm tempted to get a Day of Judgment. I'm going to get it. I am tempted to just discard it too, actually. Um, I don't think I'm going to need a Day of Judgment. I think I can just win faster than that. So I'm just going to discard a Day of Judgment. I do want to play a Cold Seal Heart, but I want to have my counters fill up. So I'm just going to pass a turn. Because he can definitely play Nicole Bolas this turn if he so chooses. And he might. He might just go off and play Nicole Bolas. Oh, he's playing a Temporal Sunder. Yeah, I'm going to counter that. If he has a one mana counter, then I'm shit out of luck. He does not have the counter. That's good for me. I'm definitely going to play Paradox Engine. Next turn. Hopefully I draw a land. That would be excellent for me, but we'll see. Okay, let's see. I need a land. That is a land. I'm going to play the land. Okay, let's see how I play this. Let's tap. Tap. Tap, tap. Tap. Let's put that on blue. Start copying. And he scoops it up. I didn't have fun in this match. Okay. Ooh, Alila. Cool. Alila is going to be a fun deck to go against. Probably artifact base and champion base. That'd be nice. Um, I had three mana on a midnight clock. I have a trophy major CK. I have a Rona. I'm gonna keep. Gotta get that island quick. Let's see what the opponent does. Okay, I'm gonna crack it. Get an island, pass a turn. Opponent plays a tap land, passes. Okay, gonna play a swamp pass. Okay, cool. I have my four lands, and I have a midnight clock, so. Okay, my opponent plays an island. Plays Arcane Signet and passes. I play a swamp and a midnight clock. Passing. So I got a Ronas, just in case he decides to play a Leela on turn four. I can bounce it. Let's see if the opponent plays his Alila. He might be thinking, okay, he has one blue up. He might have a wash away, which is pretty prevalent in Historic Brawl. But I guess he's debating if he's going to cast his commander. And his timer is running out. Oh, shoot. Um, I couldn't play my... Uh... It's fine. I'm going to play Rusko. I'm going to bounce it, though. I don't know what happened. It went to, like, my turn. Didn't stop at the end phase. It's fine. I bounced his commander. I wasn't going to use that mana anyways for anything else, so it's fine. And if he kills my Rusk, I'm just going to play it again. It's fine. And if he doesn't do anything, he just casts his commander again, I'm just going to destroy it with Urtai. So anywhere I look at it, it's a pretty good woodwood for me. Let's see what the opponent does. He's most likely going to play his commander again, but he keeps looking at the midnight clock. I guess he might destroy it. Um, maybe it's the first time he goes against the midnight clock and he doesn't know what to do. 
But he's taking an awful long time to decide. Okay. That thing I have to destroy. Archon of Sun's Grace, uh, I remember that distinctively killed me last time I saw it on the field. Against a Gojin Tai. So I'm just gonna take a chance right now and destroy it. I really don't want to deal with that. An attack. Rusko passed the turn. Got to midnight clock counters. I'm up to six and four with my midnight clocks. I really don't want to have that Pegasus on the field. It's really horrible. Very annoying. Very hard to deal with. Okay, Alila goes to the battlefield. He might cast something else to start generating value. Keeps looking at the midnight clocks. I'm assuming he might have like a Oblivion Ring type effect. Or something to stop it from going up. He plays a... Yep. He played a glass casket with nothing to target. Um, tempted to just do Spark Doubler um, on my Urtai. Very tempting, and I think I'm just going to do that, because I kind of want to stop that Alila from going off, essentially. Yeah, I'm going to do that. This might seem kind of dumb, but I'm pretty far ahead, so I'm just going to copy. And I'm going to destroy her. the Alila. Oh, he has a 1-1 one, one on the field, which lets me attack. No problem. Okay, awesome. Um, I will play Trophy Mage, too. Just gonna get a mana rock. Or perhaps I might take Tome of the Infinite, actually. Um I might, might get Tome of the Infinite. Now I'm gonna take Relic. I'm gonna take Relic. Need the mana. I'm just gonna attack with both. Six damage to the face. It's down to 15. Midnight clock counters keep going up. His commander costs seven now to cast, so I don't think he's gonna be casting it. He wouldn't be wasting the turn casting it, but perhaps he might. My opponent has six cards in hand. And he has a Fable Passage that he just played. And he scoops it up. Cool, I'm against a Delina Wild Mage again. I go first, I have an Inquisition, I have Witness Protection, go for the throat. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna play a Command Tower and start Inquisitioning his hand away. Let's see, something good, something good, let's see. Okay, so he has an Arcane Signet, he has a Goblin Shainwater, which doesn't affect me, and he has a Destroy Target Artifact, that's kind of annoying. But I actually don't want him to ramp, so I'm just going to take away his uh, Arcane Signet. Okay, cool. I'm going to play an Ice Tunnel tap, it's going to pass a turn. Oh, he plays a Barbarian class, cool. Oh, damn, that came a little too late. I do want to play Elspeth's Nightmare, but um, I'll just play Hall. Heraldic Banner. I should have I should have probably plucked away his Plundering Barbarian because right now I'm just going to play this and the problem is going to be that my Rusko is going to make his rock and he's going to destroy the rock when it comes down. But I think it's still fine. I think it's not a problem. I'll manage. I'm pretty sure I can just survive. You know what? It's, it'll be an interesting challenge for myself, actually. Oh, interesting. He decided to go for Terror of the Peaks instead. Cool. Okay. Well, that means I am just going to Heartless Act. I'm going to destroy the Terror of the Peak. Awesome. I'm going to attack. And turn. See what the opponent does. He's probably going to play his uh, Artifact Destroyer guy. Which I can't wait. Love him to do that. Awesome. Yep. That resolves. Yep. This does have first strike, which seems more powerful. Okay. I'm just going to destroy this guy, though. To draw lands, please. Like now? Okay. Clearly, I'm not gonna draw lands, so I'm just gonna play Elspeth's Nightmare. That destroys nothing. But thankfully, I have a wash away, 
So I'll be fine for now because if he casts the Lina, I'm just gonna counter the Lina. He does not play the Lina. Hmm. Huge problem right now. I need to get two more lands for Rivers Rebuke, and I don't have them. I might lose this game. Pretty decisively, I think. Um, I'm not gonna block. Okay, there's my fifth land. Um, I do have witness protection, so I could probably play it. And I think I will. I need to stop something. I don't know what's the biggest threat. I guess this would be the biggest threat. Make sure he's a little simple 1-1. One, one. I could reanimate this, thankfully. No, I can't. Ooh, I can't. No, I still need more more land. Okay, I'm gonna pass. Thankfully, he's just drawing lands, which is great. He's gonna level to it. I can't do anything about that. Play his commander. I'm going to wash away. Countering his commander. Trying to... Sustain myself with my life gain thanks to Rusko. Uh, I need to draw a land. I need to draw a land next turn for sure. Okay, if he goes... 3 damage to 3 damage, I think I can survive this. I'm a little worried. Um, I'm... Probably gonna discover the form if I draw a land. I did not draw the land that I needed. So now I definitely need to do brainstorm to try to grab the extra land now. Because I need the land now. Is there a land at the top? There's a memory lapse at the top. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, these two on the top because I don't need them right now. Um, I think the order... The order might be relevant, and I think the order might be Rivers Rebuke first. So, let's do it like that. I'll play this. Tap. I'm do Relic. Not have a memory lap, just in case he decides to cast his commander again. It's all about holding on to dear life. Not gonna attack. Just pass the turn. Hopefully what he has in hand is an is a land or something pretty useless. We'll see. He might bait he might bait my counter spell, but we'll see. Although at this point, if he baits Okay, he's he might be baiting my counter spell, but I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna counter that. I'm gonna let him put it on top. Just need to hold off. Thankfully, what's going to happen is next turn, I'm going to Rivers Rebuke. That'll give me an extra turn to survive. It's going to keep attacking for three. That's fine with me. Two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. I'm going to Rivers Rebuke him. How much mana this is? This is two. Okay, so he could cast potentially two things. Yeah. I was going to take this turn to attack him. To lower his life a little bit. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's going to rebuild again. That's fine. And that is fine. Um, okay. Let's discover the formula. Excellent. Um, darn. Darn. I kind of don't want to play Midnight Clock because it's going to tap my creature. He might beat me down. So I'll just leave up the Dispel mana. He doesn't have any instant of sorceries, but, um, you know, we can't counter Bird. <laughs> not going to be able to counter that. It's fine. He's not going to be able to, like, get out down his whole hand. It's fine. I'm going to produce a blue, just in case. That is a big chunk of damage. Mm, this is a big chunk of damage. Whew, that's a lot of damage. Will I be able to recover? That's nine. Next turn, I'm going to die. I could block something, recast my commander, and have to, uh, one mana open. 
but he won't have everything giving him haste. So I think the best best thing to do would be to block this. Yeah, I'm gonna block it. Just to get five. Because I can just recast him again. And if I draw a land, it'll be excellent. Oh, great. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna play him. I'm gonna play this. This is fine because he can't he can't hit me that hard. Theoretically, I'm not sure. I do have this spell. Oh, okay. It destroys another artifact. That's fine. I'm gonna float the mana again, just in case. Oof, this is very close. I like this game, but it's very, very close. Okay, he's casting his commander again. I can't do anything about that, but I have an Urtai, so at least it'll help me hold on for dear life. Um, that is not a problem because it doesn't have haste itself, so thankfully he's not going to hit me for much, just for three. I'm not going to block. Okay. So I have Urtai, which is great. Um, before he attacks, I'm going to destroy that creature specifically, and I'll have a chum blocker. To go along. And I could actually even recast uh, Rusko next turn. So I think it's fine. Okay, let's see what that is. Uh, when enters the battlefield, roll a d20, and each player sacks a permanent. Uh, each opponent sacrifices, and then each opponent sacrifices two. Okay. Whenever you roll one or more dice, target creature you control gains the menace too. Okay, so I'm just going to wait till he resolves that. I'm pretty sure it's going to hit his. Um... Oof, that's a seven. I did not take, take that into consideration. Should have countered that. That's an 11. I have to destroy a permanent. That's fine. I should have... Oh, no. This is a big problem. I'm trying to give it give it to his commander. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, Shoot. I didn't think about any of this. Let's see what I can do here. Okay. So, let's respond. Um... Let's destroy another creature. Let's destroy this. Okay. And I do have a faceless saving, just in case. It's the only problem. He's going to create a, another creature, but um, I'm going to chump block. Ooh, that's annoying. Oof, this has been a tough game, man. It's been a really tough game. Yep. It's been a tough, tough game. It's been destroying all my midnight clocks. Yep. Oof, this is rough. So, I don't know what to block here. So I have to block like this, sadly, and I'll destroy both creatures. Or I could go, um... Damn, this is really tough. Um, Rusko. Do I have enough for Rusko? He's already died once, so he'll cost 8 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6. No, no, I don't have enough. I can't, I can't let him die again. So, I guess I'm going to have to destroy this and this. Yeah, I'm going to take uh, a bunch. I think I died anyways. Let me see. Yeah, it's exactly lethal. That's fine. Yeah, GG opponent. That was really tough. I couldn't recover in time. Ooh, up against a Niv-Mizzet. Nice. Uh, watch my gameplay with the Niv-Mizzet. I also played against, uh, using a Niv-Mizzet um, a few days ago. Fun gameplay. I'm gonna keep. I have four lands, so I'm just gonna keep. The opponent was mulliganing. Gonna app right now. I do need that land, so I'm gonna grab it. Well, the Arcane Cine came a bit too late. Um. A trophy mage. He has stuff. Cool. Good to know. He might counter it. He did not counter it. Cool. 
Yes. I'm gonna get my trusty Relic of Legends. We just had a simple opt. Okay, cool. Let's try first Rusko. Oh, well, that's already good. Oh, brainstorm too, just in case. You might have an abrade. We'll see. Cool. Well, I'm gonna waste it right now. Let's start brainstorming here. Let's put um I don't know um. Juari on top and Tasa. That seems fine. Let's put Tasa first, because I want to draw that Tasa next turn. Yeah, I'm definitely going to start making rocks. He's trying to ramp for that Niv Miss it. Thankfully, I have answers for Urtai. The opponent is thinking very hard on what to do. Oh, cool. Playing Gasoleth. Okay. So. Definitely gonna play that Niv Miz in next turn. Um, I think that's fine though. I'm still gonna do Thassa because I think that is the best play here. Unless he counters it. That would be even better, actually. Because I need that Urtai to resolve. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this land tapped because I do not need the extra mana. Not gonna attack. Pass a turn. I'm gonna blink. Let's see if he responds with something. I'm guessing he might have a removal spell. It's a lightning strike. That's cool with me. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a turn and do Urtai when he casts Niv Mizzet. Sadly. It's not ideal, but I have to do it. Unless he has Niv Mizzet and. Well, he needs Niv Mizzet and Curiosity. He might have both. We'll see. Okay, he's playing Niv Mizzet. Weird, he cracked it. Oh, well, okay. Let's see. Um, I can play... Nope. Uh, okay, I can play Narcan Signet. And I can play my Urtai. Destroy it. I'm gonna play this... Tapped. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna blink Urtai. Bring Urtai back. I'm gonna destroy the other dragon. He has to draw a lot of cards, but it's fine. Now he's behind on that Niv it, which is exactly what I wanted to be. This is the best position he could have been. So he's gonna take at least uh, two turns to set up his Niv it again. Which is enough for me to set up my Rusko again and start building some Midnight Clocks. Tasa is extremely powerful, even when it's not for Rusko. Our opponent is thinking very hard on what to do. Because now it's becoming a little bit more troublesome getting the stuff that he wants down. Oh, interesting. Shatter Skull. Instead of using Shatter Skull, which is very interesting, because he could have just played Shatter Skull instead. That makes me think he might have another removal, like another board wipe. Nope, he just has a simple lightning bolt. That's fine. Even doing trophy mage gives me value. And he wasted a lightning bolt on that. Instead of wasting it on Rusko, which he knows I'm going to cast again. Makes me wonder why he Shatter Skulled untapped. What does he have that costs six mana they might need a river? Rebuke, maybe? Potentially? I guess nothing. I'm just gonna cast again. I'm gonna play Rusko. If he counters it, that's fine with me. He's gonna run out eventually. That's fine. Sure, I'll put it back on my command zone. I'll put this tapped. 
I'll attack with Trophy Mage and bounce Trophy Mage, unless he also has removal for a Trophy Mage. Which, let's be honest, he might. Okay, cool. I have nothing to blink. Now he's free to cast Leave Mizzet again. Okay. Well, I'm free to cast my Rusko, so... Let's blink. I'm guessing he needed a turn on Nim with Nimizzet on the floor. Maybe he does have uh, Curiosity, and now he can just win. Or he can start pinging my Rusko. Oh, he's going to ping my face. Maybe he has a win con. We'll see. All he needs is Curiosity. That's not Curiosity, so that's fine. I'm fine with him basically, uh, I guess, pinging my face. That's fine. All I need is a churn, so... If I have one churn, I'm good. Let's see if he gets his curiosity off. At this point, he should have just uh, pinged my Rusko and killed it. I don't know why he kept it alive. Seems a little weird. Okay, he's attacking. It might mean he doesn't have anything else. He's doing a time warp. Okay. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, wait, why couldn't I? Oh, because this is instant. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot this spell is instant, not for sorcery. Okay, goblin. I guess he's trying to finish me off. He's getting very close to it. I don't think I'm going to have a turn to recover because all these spells do absolutely nothing. Real possibility. Can't stop that, I believe. Is it an oh it's an instant? I can't stop it. Okay, he might be thinking of starting to Okay, he's expansioning. I'm gonna have to counter the expansion. Okay. I guess maybe now he'll consider doing Rust Go dirty. Nope, he's going to keep pinging me. All he needs to get me down is 9 more damage, and he will win. And I think he might be very close to... Yeah, I think he might. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to. He's going to draw 2 more. He'll hit me for 2 more damage. But I need, to, I need to counter the expansion. Yeah, 2 more damage. So I'm at 10. He needs 5 more damage. Let's see if he gets there. Well, I'm happy seeing Aniv miss it do its job, you know. If not, he's brainstorming. That's four more triggers. He might have it. He probably has it. He must have it. He must have it. All he needs is a burn spell. Or literally one more spell. Just a, a, a red spell. That's three more pings. Yep. Let's see if the opponent gets it. Oh, no. He's got it, for sure. Let's see. Wait, what? Oh, come on. What? What is this? Is he BMing me? Well, come on, you have the one, one damage. Oh, I mean, if I, I need to... Okay. Oh, man, why do you do that? Fine. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction, buddy. <laughs> GG. Ooh. Halana and Alina partners. Okay, I get to go first, and I have a Guardian Idol, so I have a turn three commander in a play. Let's do this. Mm, let's play this land first. Guardian Idol, pass a turn. Incubation Druid, cool. Playing Rusko. And counter. Okay, he could cast his Alana. Which is not a bad idea, honestly. Ooh, he might destroy something. Ooh, he's destroying it. Jeez, everyone is just bringing the artifact hate today. It's really rough, huh? Let's see if the opponent does anything else. 
It's a living weapon. So a little 1-1 one, one with Visions and Lifelink. Play a land. Uh, man, I just want to... I feel like I want to do Tome of the Infinite here. Or even a Karn. Let's see. Mm. This is tough. Um, I kind of... I almost don't want to do... Hmm. Tough. I think I might take a turn off and just ur tie his commander when he casts it. So I'm just going to attack. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm going to do that. I think that's fine. That's fine. He's getting a land. He should play his commander. Ooh, gem razor. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that for right now. So I'm just gonna counter that. Yep, that's not gonna resolve. So it seemed like the right play. Good. Oh, I have a tail sin. That's even better. So now I don't need to concern myself with the extra mana. I'm just gonna play a tome of the infinite. I'm gonna attack. This is not gonna block, so it'll be fine. End of turn. Okay, let's see. Reclamation stage. Jeez, buddy. This guy just doesn't want to let go. Um, I'm going to do one toe. Okay, cool. I have a dress. It's obviously going to blow up the tome. Bringing on that artifact hate, huh? It's really tough. Okay, I'm gonna play a duress. Cancel this for a second. I'm gonna play it. A duress. Let's see. Oh, let's blow that up. Okay, I have a Karn, Great Creator. And I have a Tail's End. And I have a Drown on the Loke, which has three. So I can counter that and counter the other things. So I don't need to play Karn right now. Mostly because it does nothing too. I'm just gonna, gonna swing with everything. And if he wants to block, he can block. That's cool. Okay, creature down. Okay, he's getting another land. That's excellent now because now I can counter him without using. I'm obviously gonna use Tell Zen because that's why it's there, but um. Yeah. This shows the sheer power of Rusko. This guy has been destroying all my artifacts, and I'm still basically managing just fine. He's going to hit me for three. He's going to gain one back. And now I have Shadow's Verdict, which I'm pretty sure is the last thing he wants to see. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. Blow up that whole board. Gonna attack. And now it's GG's for the opponent. Because now it's really hard to recover from that. And if he casts his commander, I'm just gonna destroy it. That's fine. He places 2-1. What is this? At the beginning of your combat, put a 1-1 counter on target creature. Then, if you control a creature with 7 or great, that's fine. It's a highway 5. That's not gonna happen. No problem. And even then, I do have a drown of luck, so... I'll definitely manage. Okay, opponent. Sure, he gets a counter. It's my turn. Oh, Jesus Christ, I have a wash away too. Um, I'm going to attack first. I'm going to see if I bait him out. Okay, he's going to take damage. I am going to play a Karn. Plus Karn. Gonna submit zero. And the turn. I have a wash away and drown the loke. So two things are not gonna be able to be casted. Okay. Sure. I know what that why he's doing that. He wants to destroy my Karn. 
It's fine. Have at it. it. Seems ridiculously stupid. But if he wants to waste this attack doing that, it's fine with me. Okay. Um, I am going to counter that. And GG's opponent. That's not usually the way you win with Rusko, but it, I'll take it. Ooh, again, this Toski, Bearer of Secrets. My opponent goes first. I do have my mana. But, um, I do have a Jawari, but it's not going to happen. Well, you know what? It might happen. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to keep it. Yeah, it's fine. It's a good hand. Mm. Expert from artifacts and enchantments. That's fine. And Toski is four. Oh, he can't be countered. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, I'm just going to play my Mind Stone. I'm going to play a Seagate on tap to be able to cast my Rusko. Oof. Everyone's bringing the hate on artifacts today. Playing, having me play fair magic here? This is insane. I'm an explorer. He's ramping like crazy. Oh no. What is this? Exile non creature artifact or non creature enchantment? Oh no. Everyone's bringing on the removal today. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go through a troll through that specifically. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I'll do that at the end phase. I know he's going to summon Toski, but it's indestructible anyway, so it's irrelevant. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to go for the throat now. Oh, Christ, I forgot. Well, we're going to have to hit this one then. This is horrific. Um, Oracle of the Alpha. Um, I'm still going to play Rusko. Yep, I'm still going to play Rusko. I have an Anol. I don't know if it's that, that's going to do anything, but uh, at least I'll get to Chump. I know he's going to destroy my Midnight Clock, but I'll just Chump. Ooh, that's a 6-6. Six, six. That is insane. Um, I'm going to force it right now. I'm just going to force it right now. Yep. That is fine. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose this game. Yeah, I'm definitely going to lose this game. Oh, I got a Rivers Rebuke. I just need to last two turns. Can I do that? Uh... I'm gonna put Seagate. No, I need to put this. Oh, this is bad. I have to put this tapped. Um, I'm gonna play an alpha just so I can chump something. Next turn, I'll just. Uh, I won't attack. I'll pass a turn. I am almost willing to block with Rusko. Probably. Which I think might be the best course of action. Pretty certain I'm gonna have to. Okay. Um. Should I let Rusko die? Is the question. Let me think about this for a second. Because I can reverse rebuke. He's gonna set up again. Um. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna. Block here. Well, I can take the damage. It's fine. I'm just gonna block over here. Yeah. I'm gonna block there. I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse rebuke next turn anyways. I think that's fine. Yep, he's gonna draw a card. He didn't do anything. Okay, I'm gonna ping myself for three. I'm gonna reverse rebuke my opponent. He has seven mana, so he can recover all that he just lost, but it'll take a turn, so I can attack with both. I'm gonna scry a war of invention. Do I need that? 
It gets me something of three or less. I don't think I need a war. I might need lance, actually. So, it's fine. I'm definitely going to be blocking or chump blocking next turn, for sure. Or I can just play Cultivator. It's a crew five. And this is a crew four. So, maybe those are the better options. But now the opponent has to, like, take a chill pill. And it'll give me at least a turn to recover. It's going to Lotus Cobra. He's going to get six mana, seven mana, potentially. Seven mana. Let's see what he plays. He's going to play Prosperous Innkeeper. He's going to get a treasure, and he either can play the big boy or his commander again. He's going to play the big boy first. Okay. Passing the turn. I'm getting this. I am playing my Cultivator. And my Reckoneer. And I think I have to keep it as it is. Because they both crew for three, and I need my Rusko. So I'm planning on chum blocking. Probably with ease or something. We'll figure it out. Okay, he seeks X creatures. And put those cards in the battlefield. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be really bad. Really quick. Let's see what he plays. Oh, two Scoot Swarm. Oh, no, a Scoot Swarm and a Lana War. Okay. That is fine. I was expecting something terrible. Okay. He's playing. He's attacking with the 6-6. Six -six. Okay. So, I am going to crew. And I'm going to double block. And he actually can't kill both, so that's good for me. That's where I'm going to kill the... Yeah. Awesome. So, now I can survive. I'm going to Reckoneer. I'm going to draw a card. Draw a land. And I draw another land. This is... Getting a little bad right now. Um, I feel like I can't attack. I need to just be able to block. I'm going to do this now. I'm going to draw. Okay. Getting all those lands out, huh? But a bit of a mistake for me to um, do that first. Now he's going to start Scoot Swarming. And now he's going to make copies of Scoot Swarm. So that's scary. Okay. He's producing a lot of mana. Now he's going to be able to draw a lot of cards with his commander. Or he's going to do an unnatural growth. That is horrible. Okay, now he's doing Toski. Oh, I could have annulled that, and I didn't. Well, just double, right? It's just double. That's fine. Okay, so I need to start blocking. Let's block Scoot Swarm. Let's block with this to that. Okay. I'm going to draw two cards. Okay. I have a commit. That's good. I'm going to Rusko. Okay, and I have enough for a commit. Yep, I have exactly enough for a commit. Sure, that's fine. Could have counter that. I don't know why why they encounter it. I just let it go. <laughs> okay, the opponent has four cards in hand. Titan of Industry is really rough, and I can't deal with that, so I'm gonna have to commit that specifically. Yep, let's commit that. I can't hit the board. That's gonna be really destructive. He just has three mana. He does nothing. Perfect. He has to attack with everything. Um, sure, I'm gonna reckon here. He seems to have an answer for that. It seems. He might respond to it. That's why I kind of did it with that, because if he just responds to that, I don't have no problem. If he fights it or whatever, it's fine with me. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. Try to eliminate the bigger threats. He probably has a fight spell. If he has it, he has it. But just go ahead and do it, please. Um, next turn, I'll be able to do a memory. Um, the problem is, I'll give my opponent seven cards, which I don't know if that's exactly what I want to do. Hey, he made it a 4-4. Probably indestructible. Oh, he destroyed it. Cool. It's fine. He draws two cards. 
Okay. Place a land. Thankfully, I can't do anything with that land. And Menagerie Curator. Whew, this is, a uh, oh man, this is rough. I think I need to memory. Yep, I'm gonna have to memory. It's not ideal, but I'm gonna have to. Ooh, there's Bolo Citadel. I wish I could play it. Ooh, if I would have played a land. No, no, it wasn't enough. But I do have Urtai. I can counter something. If I play this, will I be able to counter something? Nope, I need to keep that. I need to try to survive an extra turn now, again. But I do have Tails N2, which maybe that could stop something else. Um, I wish I could play Tasa, but it's just going to produce one rock, which is not enough. I'm going to pass the turn. I need to survive one simple turn, and maybe I can stabilize with Bola Citadel. Maybe. It's going to be really rough. Um, explore is fine. It's not a problem. Beast Whisper is fine. That's not a problem. That's fine. It's just a matter rock. That's fine. It's fine. So you need to make sure the big boy spell that comes down doesn't doesn't hit me hard. Let's see. Whoa, he scooped that up. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna lose. I'll take it. Um, this batch of games was fun. A few losses here and there. Had to try to be sneaky with Rusko because today a lot of people came with the artifact hate. And some of the artifact hate really worked and in some others, even with the artifact hate, Rusko persevered. Which shows you how ridiculous Rusko really is. The fact that even when they destroy the Midnight Clock and they basically ignore Rusko so you are, un are unable to recast it again, just shows you how ridiculously powerful Rusko is in and of itself, even without the added value of the Midnight Clock on his side. Uh, he's really strong. He's very, very powerful. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep playing him because people seem to like these gameplays. And I like this because it's, it's control. I like blue. I usually don't play a lot of black. I tend to gravitate to Azorius colors mostly. Um, yeah, I just, I'm loving this. I'm loving this guy, loving this deck. It's a fun, fun build. It's cancerous, it's horrible, but I'm going to play it until some someone at uh, Watsi fixes this card, nerfs it, or bans it. So we'll see how long it takes. So yeah, see you guys in the next one.